Right now, COVID-19 is changing the way we live our lives, and it is also forcing many organizations to find new ways to operate. News Center Maine's Shannon Moss joins us from her home now with more on a program to help people dealing with trauma and how it is having to adapt during this pandemic. Shannon. Well, Cindy, the Trauma Intervention Program, or TIP, is a team of men and women in Maine who volunteer their time to be there for people who are experiencing crisis. Now, these highly trained volunteers are there 24-7, 365 days a year to provide emotional first aid and also practical support for people who are facing the worst day of their lives. So what happens when these TIP volunteers are sidelined because of COVID-19? Well, they adapt and they do whatever they can to make sure that Mainers in need are supported. When the first responder community in Maine is dealing with a traumatic event, they often call the Trauma Intervention Program, a group of highly trained volunteers who arrive on scene to provide emotional and practical support to victims and their families. And we're there right with the survivor in the moments following and right at that location. But since COVID-19 became a global pandemic, health officials have been urging people to stay home or keep their distance. Yeah. TIP program manager Leslie Skillen says the right thing to do is keep volunteers from responding in person. The volunteers, you know, are just sitting at home and, you know, we're watching the news and wondering, you know, people out there that may need us. So it's, it's a tough position to be in. So Skillen thought up tell a tip that we can support people over the phone um, you know to be there as that calming voice to be there as somebody that can just maybe listen um, and give them a chance and an opportunity to just share what has just happened to them. Scarborough Fire Chief Mike Thurlow is grateful tip volunteers will still be available when needed. Our folks you know try to provide as much support as we can for the family members but at some point they have to get back for the next call and be ready for the next emergency and what uh, Leslie and her volunteers have done is fill that gap. Skillen has created cards for the first responder community to give to survivors and victims in crisis. Those cards explain what TIP is and what support they can offer them. There's a lot of things that they can do remotely to still support those families. We're just trying to do whatever we can to make sure that folks know that there is someone that will call them back um, and be there for them in whatever way we can. So at this point, it is hard to tell when things will go back to normal, but it is pretty clear that the TIP program and TIP volunteers are doing what they can to make sure that they are helping Mainers who find themselves in crisis. Pat. All right. Thanks, Shannon.